And now I would like to call uh, Professor Luis Colai for the closing remarks of this, this session and the, the conference. Colai, are you there? I'm here. Everybody listening to me? Okay, that's okay. Vita? Yes. Great. Okay, let me share with you my uh, screen. I'd like to say some uh, few words. When I was invited to this closing ceremony, uh, uh, <laughs> I was just starting uh, thinking about uh, uh, about the event, about how was everything, about uh, what happened, what happened in terms of good things and bad things. Of course, for sure, would like to have chance to receive all of you here in Sao Paulo, in our city, to congratulate, to exchange experience, and so on. But uh, unfortunately, unfortunately this, and this doesn't work. This was not possible. So I tried to evaluate what happened, considering, in fact, how this happened. Uh, 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 the question I was trying to, to, to solve, to answer is, did Sao Paulo devs, the third LA's devs, fulfill its role. That's a, okay, let's see. Let's see uh, what did we set out to do. First, the idea was to improve and disseminate knowledge on methods, policies, and technologies for increasing the sustainability of development into account the triple bottom line. More than this, increasing efficiency by integrating life support systems and anthropic systems. Providing a forum for interdisciplinary and multicultural evaluation of complex system. And the last but not the least, to become a venue for researchers from different areas to meet each other and originally discuss. Uh, and Luis, uh, we don't see uh, the presentation. We see just no. uh, uh, a PowerPoint editing file. So uh, you need to uh, actually share uh, the full screen. I'm doing that. No, but uh, yes, now it's okay. Okay. So let me introduce once again our motivations uh, improve and disseminate knowledge and methods, policies, and technologies regarding uh, 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 increasing the sustainability of development, thinking into a cause of triple bottom. Increasing efficiency by integrating life supporting system and anthropic systems, providing a forum for inter interdisciplinary and multicultural evaluation of complex systems, and finally, become a venue for researchers from different areas to meet each other and originate, discuss, and disseminate new ideas. These were our missions, and what did we do to fulfill them? Let's see once again. We had, uh, now it's not working. Yeah. You have to click into the screen and then it will work. No, it's not working. Yes. Now. Yes. 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 Okay. Click once. Okay. Great. We had three invited lecturers. The, in the first day, Professor Paul Artacho presented and discussed uh, uh, some issues regarding climate change and the challenge of regional and global sustainability. After that, Professor Ophelia Queiroz presented us uh, uh, a, brilliant, a brilliant energy transition impacts and decarbonization and electrification, which are really, really interesting. Finally, yesterday, Professor Zita Valli uh, introduced introduce times related to sustainable energy communities, concepts, models, and technology solutions. What else? We did more than uh, uh, attend to invited lectures. We had three panels. The first, coordinated by Cari Mascarenhas, uh, uh, discussed uh, the challenge of social perce uh, perception and public engagement towards sustainability. In the second day, Professor Roberto Guardani uh, presented a, a clear picture regarding the air quality in the city of Sao Paulo, discussing with experts from the uh, regional uh, agency. So some solutions 
and uh, uh, in terms of management and policies. Now, uh, a few moments ago, put the third panel, also made by Professor Queiroz, regarding energy transition drivers and outcomes. So, uh, uh, um, this was one part of the conference, but what was the LA um, is from uh, Sao Paulo in terms of, of numbers, apart from the panels and the lectures. Let's see in more details. I've received 115 from the online uh, way. They were from 26 countries, from more than this. We had registered 91 papers in our platform. They're shared in 11 technical sections and originated 89 online presentations. This was more than that because we had received about 600 comments on the virtual conference platforms. Platform. Here we have a list of the intensity of questions by involved in this in these discussions making questions uh, uh, comments and suggestions so i think that after all of this reflection i have the answer yes we fulfilled our expectations uh steps from sao paulo steps to uh, 2022 achieve it it goes but uh, this was only possible due to the many institutions. Uh, I want to say who they are and thank, and thank you for their participation. I'd like to start with the academic organizers. Talking about the University of Zagreb, the Instituto Superior Técnico from Lisbon, Universidade de São Paulo, and our Escola Politécnica, and of course, I'd like to say thank you so much for the executive organizer, the International Center for Sustainable Development of, of Energy, Water, and Environmental Systems, this Dev Center. Now, of course, I'd like to also highlight the, the ever fundamental sponsors. All of you for this. After the, the general exposition, after saying thank you for uh, the institutional uh, collaboration, I'd like to invite uh, Professor Nevin Bridge to, to explain how the process with the Partner Journal we will work. Nevin, please. Uh, thank you very much, Louis, for uh, kind words. Uh, before we go to journals, I have to say that the conference will not uh, completely finish online. Uh, it is still, uh, the platform is still open for questions until the end of the day, uh, Latin American Brazilian time. Uh, and then we will uh, close it for the questions. But authors are obliged to answer all the questions uh, to their best possibility. Uh, because can you imagine if you present orally uh, uh, your work and then you get the question and then you just walk out of the room and don't answer it. It's not really nice. So we have to answer these uh, questions. Uh, those that uh, decline to answer the questions uh, by uh, uh, the end of uh, tomorrow, uh, again, Brazil time, uh, they will be cancelled. Their paper will not be published in the proceedings um, and uh, it will not be invited to journals. So it's not a really very good uh, policy to do. Uh, if you don't know how to answer the question, you should clearly say, well, we are still not, uh, this is out of scope of what we were uh, doing. Uh, but you have to have an answer. 
So uh, then um, when we completely close the online conference, uh, then we will be thinking about uh, publishing part of papers uh, in partner journals. Luis, if you can hit, uh, yes, that's it, great. Okay, so we have um, a long list of partner journals. I'm not sure that we will have them all uh, this year, uh, special issues, but last year we had 20 special issues in different level of journals. Uh, usually to Q1 journals, uh, we only invite uh, archival papers, but we have lots of uh, 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 smaller journals, put two, uh, two put three, uh, where we invite also some conference papers. So even if you have a conference paper, uh, it may be invited uh, to the journal. But when this is going to happen? Because we cannot have uh, these special issues for, for uh, each of these Davis conferences happening uh, during this year, and we have three, we will wait until the last one that will be in November in Cyprus. And after that one, we will start inviting uh, papers. Uh, once we will have uh, uh, a full list of special issues, uh, then we will invite archival paper corresponding authors to select uh, and to rank uh, journals according to what they think it's the best chance that a paper gets published. Be aware that if you select the Q1 journal on the first place, uh, um, it might not get selected uh, because uh, it will be uh, crowded. So uh, don't select five Q1 after uh, each other because on the second place, uh, we will already have uh, filled up the quotas for the Q1 journals. Uh, so choose cleverly. Uh, it's a bit of uh, a game theory that you have to use uh, in order to uh, uh, ascertain uh, a spot in the, in, in the invitation process. Okay, then you've got uh, invitation and you will have 30 days to submit your uh, paper. The paper has to be improved. First, uh, it has to be serious uh, scientific work. It will still go through the review process. So if you just uh, send us a uh, few pages of text, it will get immediately rejected. We are losing time, you're losing time. It doesn't make sense. It will not pass through just because uh, you were invited by the uh, conference. Uh, so if you have to uh, bring the paper up to the standard of the journal. And also, the style of the journal. Uh, there are guidelines for each journal, and you have to study those guidelines. Because if you don't, you might get rejected just because you didn't uh, uh, put the right references in your uh, paper. This is very important. In uh, some of the Q1 journals, we have 50% of papers rejected uh, by the editor-in-chief uh, at the desk, uh, 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 desk level. So he just sees the paper, sees something is not according to the guidelines and rejects it, or he. Um, it is still much less than uh, what these journals are generally rejecting uh, as desk reject, which is usually 80-90%. Uh, but uh, why wasting such a great opportunity? by not preparing the paper according to the journal. So uh, I wish you uh, good publishing. And also if your paper gets rejected in one journal, uh, it might get invited uh, in another journal. Uh, we sometimes invite uh, papers to several journals. Uh, that means you have to improve paper because it was rejected in the first one. You cannot just go and reject the same paper, which is not up to the standard, to another journal. That's uh, losing time. But uh, journals need your papers, and we can help you publish them. But you have to follow uh, uh, the instructions. And instructions are all written very clearly in the invitation letter. 
uh, there is a chance that you missed the invitation letter because you have put us in a spam uh, folder. So check your spam folders in November also for the Zdevas mails. And please whitelist Zdevas.org emails. Uh, please, the next slide. We also have um, a journal, uh, which we started uh, in 2013. It's open access. If you get invited to a special issue to Jess Davis, uh, then you will have a fee waiver. Uh, but you can also publish uh, independently in this journal. Uh, it's a relatively low uh, fee, uh, but uh, there is a fee. Uh, and we like to uh, help our Davis community to publish uh, their papers in the domain of the conference scope uh, as easily as possible. And I think uh, since it's uh, in uh, Scopus, it has quite high site score. It's in Q1 in Scopus. Uh, so it should be actually uh, something what is uh, valuable in uh, Brazil. I think Brazil counts Scopus journals. In energy engineering, it's Q2, but in environment, it's Q1. Next slide, please. Uh, the next conference, as I mentioned, will happen in November in Paphos. You are most invited. There is still short time for submitting abst conference abstracts. And for the next year, we are preparing the one in uh, September uh, in Dubrovnik, uh, our main conference. So it will be hybrid as well as uh, Paphos. So you can participate online or you can come to uh, Dubrovnik or Paphos uh, physically, uh, if the situation with uh, COVID will be good. We are also uh, building uh, a conference next, the Latin American conference, so which might be held in Santiago de Chile. But I cannot put it yet because it's not all uh, finalized. Uh, and with this, I wish you um, good publishing and the future's Davis participation. And I return uh, the word back to Luis. Okay, thank you, Nevin. Uh, finally, I'd like to, to say thank you for the, all the people involved in the local organizing committee and the staff, mainly the students here we have. Uh, at distance, and from the organizer committee, Professor uh, 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 Professor Rinaldi Giudzi, and for the, the soul of the conference, Professor Rita Alves. Uh, it was a pleasure to share with you this coordination. So, thank you so much for everyone. Uh, colleagues, the LA Devs is finished for this moment. You and other conference from the Zdev series, and thank you so much for your attendance, for your and to stay with. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Bye. Bye, everyone. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Congratulations for the conference. Thank you, Ophelia. <laughs>